Did you stuck on the downloading do not turn off target error message on your Android phone? If yes then don't worry as this video guide will help you to fix the issue. But before going to the fixes, don't forget to like, subscribe and click the bell icon to get the latest notifications. Method 1. Perform soft reset. Follow the steps. Press the power plus volume down buttons and hold them for 45 seconds. Now wait unless the phone restarts. This process will remove all damaged or corrupted temporary data from the phone. Method 2. Exit download mode. When you are stuck on downloading do not turn off target and Samsung issue then it's better to exit for mode and mode. Follow the steps as guided, when you see the error message on the phone screen, press and hold home plus power plus volume down buttons together. Now, when the device turns black then leave them and hopefully, your phone will start normally. Method 3, Wipe Cache Partition. If you have experienced the error after updating your device to the latest OS or have reflashed stock ROM then you need to delete the cache partition. Here is what you have to do. First, switch off your phone using power plus volume down button. Now, press home plus power plus volume up together and hold them. Here, leave buttons when Android system recovery screen occurs. Next, highlight wipe cache partition via volume down button. Method 4. Boot your device in safe mode. Follow the below steps. First, switch off your phone. Now press and hold the power key. When the screen appears, leave the power button immediately and hold the volume down button. Next, continue to hold volume down button unless the phone restarts. When safe mode logo appears on screen, leave the volume down button. Now, move to settings, advanced settings, backup and reset and click on backup my data. Method 5, do hard reset. When nothing works then doing factory reset is the best way to get rid of the error. Follow the steps. First, turn off your device and enter the Android system recovery menu. Now, use volume down key to highlight the wipe data slash factory reset option. To confirm it, press power button and then choose yes delete all user data. Next, press power button once again to start the factory reset process. Finally, reboot your phone. Method 6, use a professional repair tool. If you are looking for an effective and quick way to fix the issue then I am going to suggest you use Android repair software. Step 1, download and install Android repair tool. Step 2, click repair now option to go ahead. Step 3, select correct device info. Step 4, next, download firmware package. Step 5, begin Android repair system. 